Hello everybody and welcome to your daily lighting critique. Uh, today we've got a bunch to go through. We've got some videos, uh, we've got some stills. We're gonna hop right into it, but a quick announcement off the top. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday of this week, there will be no critique. As I was just mentioning, I'll be at a conference and I will be away from any computer. I will be around real human beings for the first time in a very long time. I will wear my mask, I will be safe. Everybody's vaccinated at this venue, so no one be worried, we're all good. Um, but I'm very excited about this, but unfortunately I won't be around to provide critiques, but I will be back on Thursday. So, okay, let us take a look at some of these. So Andre, you are up first. We've got a little short here. I see some new materials. I see some new stuff going on. Talk us through what has, uh, what we've got. Okay, um, I tried to put more, uh, um, a, a more interesting light on the background here on the first part. Um, also, uh, I added a tongue to him, but I forgot to put it on her and also realize now that the tongue is way too pink, but, um, also on, on his wall on the, on the, this wall, the, the green wall, I tried to give a, a bit more of a dynamic going from dark to, uh, from light to dark to have a little bit more, uh, of, a, of a difference there. And I still need to work on the on the um, subsurface on his uh, ear. I didn't tone that down, but uh, I think that was it. And a, a bit more light, a uh, bounce light overall. Although I um, I had this uh, a bit more contrasty look like it is now. That was my original, but it wasn't coming through on the. Uh, translation from nuke to to video mm -hmm. and i figured it out now so this is more of like the look that i wanted to have more like a a bit more of a a, a contrasty saturated than than the the older version got it well cool okay great um i think like the first thing well first off i, I agree that the light on the back wall looks better this is definitely making a lot of improvement it looks like you've kind of overcome uh, or be able to solve um, the technical challenges that you were having initially, right? Yes. Because because now it's like it seems like you're really able to focus in on the um, aesthetics of the piece, which is such an important hurdle to get to, right? It's easier said than done. Um, the biggest the biggest thing for me that stands out first, uh, two two things stand out to me right away. Number one, there is a little bit of an inconsistency in some of the sh in the shaders on the shot. Like specifically, I am. Here we go. Um, like I like the this wood material has a lot of detail in it, right? There's like wood being eaten away, it's kind of chewed up. But other than that, we're we're not seeing that level of of like kind of realism in the detail a lot of a lot of the stuff. Like looking at things like um this the chair just kind of feels white, like it doesn't really feel like there's a lot of bump there. The the table, uh, I love this herringbone pattern, but it just kind of feels like it just ends like there's not like a border to it like it feels like there would be something surrounding the table so some of this stuff and, and like the wall doesn't feel like it has a lot of texture to it so i think i think what i would do um i would i would see about maybe putting in a little more detail into some of these areas like also like the 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 stove here feels like a very very reflective metal when normally like that type of appliance has like a lot of brushedness to it like it's very brushed metal okay so i would just do a pass at like not so much like i think the characters have i think their shaders are all um other than like his tongue and i think her tongue probably needs some uh i think her, she's on the opposite end. i think she her, doesn't yeah. have a, a material on her tongue right 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 once once you get that sort of, i think the characters are fine from a material standpoint but i think i think that i would do a pass at kind of like of of getting those into um a little bit more like it's same thing with the the cabinets like they don't I guess i guess they're just i guess they're just like white cabinets but it feels it feels like there'd be there might be something a little more on them um and then i i, I was uh and then once we get in once we get to that there's the other the other big thing that i noticed was that the lighting is different on him between the two shots specifically that shadow from his ear um once we go into this shot it's 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 like yeah it's just it's different so that's one thing about lighting a sequence that is so difficult is trying to get that stuff to line up 
So I, I love what you're doing, and I love the idea that that the light is different between the two shots. But we just need to do a better job of tricking the audience into thinking that they're the same. So I think I think that we need to position the light specifically on him, so that the the main light cuts off kind of right at the ear, so that we can uh, convincingly get, you know, that there's no light right there. I'm okay. Because I yeah, think this I think this looks better. I think maybe try wrapping a little bit of light around. It's just that this. If we had this shadow shape in the other shot, it would look pretty gnarly. Yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, it, the the problem is that he, you know he moves a lot, like his position moves a lot from the first half to the second half. So that's why. But I'll I'll try to figure out and okay. make it. I don't know. Figure yeah. something out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's it's honestly about it being perfect it's a like you don't it doesn't it doesn't does not have to be perfect it just needs to be uh, a little bit closer and then okay. i'll open it up at this point and see what others think because i think that's a pretty i think it's a pretty good amount to to do for the next iteration um but i was seeing if you got if you if there's anything standing out to you all if you're making the skin shaders um if you're gonna Put some more work into them, then I might add some, maybe a little bit of variation in her lip color. Yes, um, oh, yeah. that's very good. You can yeah, him too, probably, right? Yeah. 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 Both very if, if you're bringing it into substance, then I would speckle some other, you know, colors into their skin. But if, yeah. uh, if, if you're not using substance, then I'd see if you can maybe paint over their lips. That's the... Um... Yeah, I can just d duplicate the, the skin and then apply it to the lips and then and then modify it a little yeah it's also a matter of getting a little bit of like maybe freckles uh and warmth in the cheeks a little bit too and i think mm -hmm. i think that's it's it's amazing how adding those like little bits of variation just really even even simple like simplified characters really can come to life a little bit with um yeah. uh yeah the only thing i'm noticing is for her eye the right spring right eye is a little too reflective. Uh, actually, I think it's this one, screen left one. Oh, sorry, screen left. I can't. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here, cat. <laughs> Figure it out and come back. By the way, thank you guys for sharing your, your cameras. It's so good to see faces. Thank you. Um, yeah, I like that too. I like seeing y'all. All right. Oh, and then, and then this is super minor, but like, I think there's a real opportunity to have some like, very cool caustic -y goodness stuff from this blue uh that blue bottle onto the wall a little bit i wonder if there's an opportunity to it's kind of tough with the light position but like if we could just throw it a little bit more that way it could be kind of cool okay or you could just make it not glass and then that would all <laughs> <laughs> well maybe i can maybe i can pull it uh, uh to the front a little bit more so that the oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a little more, a little more room for it to kind of go. Because I, 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 I just think it's so pretty. I think it's just like a nice way to add some color. Okay, um, cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. All right, Brenda, Brenda is here. I thought. Oh, actually, I don't think she is. We'll, we'll, we'll go to this one next. So, she fixed the compositing thing. I think this is looking good. So this is mostly looking at noise. What do you guys think? I'm, I'm moving. I'm moving my body around to avoid a reflection on my screen. Let's see, if, <laughs> oh, it's nighttime too. There's a little I bit of like, good. yeah, I think it looks good too. I, there's a little bit of aliasing on the water itself, but that could just be the compression of. Uh, sync sketch or whatever we're using like I'm, I'm looking kind of uh down here in these highlights and it just looks like there's some stair stepping so just look into that um if, if you're seeing that on your end if not it might just be the way it's being scaled up on my monitor i think wonder it looks good yeah i'm wondering i just want to double check something because I, I grabbed uh her latest and i just want to make sure because she had one earlier um, up here, I just want to make sure that it's not. Oh yeah, okay, cool. Um, I just wanted to make sure I didn't, I, I wasn't missing the the rest of it. Okay, cool. 
yeah, I think this looks good. All right, any thoughts before we move on? Good job, Brenda. Cool. So Clever's doing some hair work on this on this young lady. So uh, we had we had some really beautiful lighting work on this. Um, I think I think that was the main gist of this that he was working on here. So I'm not I'm not the best at groom. Um, I do see that she has a bald spot on top of her head. So I think that probably um, that that might. Um, it looks like because doesn't she have a ribbon on her hair? Oh yes, she does. Yes, she does. She does not have a bald spot. She has a ribbon in her hair. Everybody can relax. It's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, and then her eyebrows as well. I think it's like pretty. I mean, it, it it all depends. Like, I would have to see reference on this because I think. I love what I'm seeing here on the edges. Like, I feel like that feels very natural. Some of the frizziness in here feels a little excessive. Like, because even if you have frizzy hair and it's pulled back and like in, in some of these things, it, it tends to get a little bit hotter in there. There's a little bit, but like that feels, that feels like a lot. Um, it might feel less exaggerated once he like starts using it. Motion render. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point too, because like it may, it may, it may just be, uh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see how that looks out. But yeah, does anyone have any thoughts uh, on on this? I think it looks. Yeah. From my awesome. amateur fur groom eyes. Good. We got that bald spot worked out. That was a big one. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Cool. Next up, we have Kaya. We've included uh, some dust particles in here, so we've got a little animation going on. I think I think we could go heavier on the dust particles. Um, I I think, yeah, because I, I, I kind of only see like two, and I think that they look great. Um, and I think we can go further. Actually, let me see something. Something changed over there. Yeah, there's I think three of them, but I think maybe variating the the size of them because they look all the same size. So kind of like, yeah, maybe maybe some variation of size on the i think variation in size and like maybe some of them in focus some of them out of focus so i was yeah. just seeing something right here this kind of happens when you look at uh last frame back to the first frame there's like a pop that goes through there I'm trying to figure out what that is i don't know if the, the the light may be changing and if that's the case that's fine actually you, it looks like you're you're animating the intensity of the light a little bit or like some sort of gobo passing through there if so that's pretty cool um Maybe that's because the the bow is still deflating. <laughs> we, we have a deflate gate or whatever yeah. they call it. Um, yeah, that's good. Um, I would say try to limit them to where the light ray is, because you're not going to see dust where the light ray. Speaking as a person that you know lives in a dusty environment, I see dust all the time. Um, you're going to see it mostly where the light ray is. You're not going to see it really in the darker spots. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. And the other thing I was thinking too, there's a couple, um, specifically this, this crayon up here. And then I'm wondering where, where, um, like, I think a little bit of ambient occlusion would help ground that a little bit. Cause right now that one feels like it's floating a little bit as well as I'm wondering, so I know, I know that it's this thing right here. Um, Feels a little bit flat, and I'm wondering if we can't get a little bit darker on this side. Um, the way that that, I guess this one's kind of being hit with some more direct light, but I love the way that this like indirect light is shaping up this side of it, and then we're getting some darkness back here. I think the same thing could be true here. Like maybe we can get some indirect light hitting that, and then that can maybe go a little bit darker. Love the shaping on the ball. Uh, the wooden uh, the wooden toy looks great. Different colors on the crayons look great. I wonder if possibly desaturating the background just a touch might help too. Give that a try. Any well, other thoughts on this one? The the crayon on the on the bottom right kind of looks like floating co composite. Oh, this one down here. Uh, down here. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't it's know exactly why, because there's a shade there, but but it kind of looks like I don't know. Like it was 
you would expect oh. a little bit more of an ambient shadow there. They look they look good in the in the sun, but like right, it's just like, this maybe, kind of like maybe because it's like half on the half on the dark thing and half on the paper. You would expect a little more bounce light on the paper side of it. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a good call too. So more interaction on our character. I still think we can go a little bit warmer on her skin. She still feels a little metallic to me. Um, I'm not saying that because of the reflectivity. I'm saying that because of like it's like kind of a steely color. And I think I think the cools are nice. I just think that we can push. push a little. Maybe she has nerves of steel. And that's Maybe. why. Yeah, again, we've got... Oh, did we lose the person on fire in the background? Or am I just not seeing it? Oh, no. The per oh, no. The person's now just lying still. That did not end well for them. Um, they need more fire... Firelight in the eyes, especially yeah. if you're going to start close of a zoom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you know, I, I just there's something that was something that was that was bothering me about the background, and I think I think I just made sense. I don't think there's anything necessarily to change, but let me let me propose this as a question. So if you look at the sparks in the background, some are coming down from like electrical stuff, and some are coming up from the flames, and they look similar. So it was confusing to me that they were that something similar was going kind of in two different directions. Does that does that bother anybody else? Because it feels like it would just be sparks coming down from the ceiling, like that we wouldn't actually see flame. Yeah, I, I am open to being disagreed. With. I think that there's. I, I was trying to understand what was going on because it, like, especially in the start, in the beginning, it kind of looks like it's like. Uh, Christmas lights, almost. Yeah, because they're not moving; they're just sparkling. They're just on yeah, because yeah, yeah. you only when see them in like one the point. Sparks like actually coming down, you know, like right there. Then you kind of understand. Oh, okay, that's kind of what it is. But I guess maybe I don't know, maybe motion blur, or maybe because it it kind of looks very uh, uh, stroboscopic, kind of. Yeah, I don't know how how particles work in Unreal or how he's got this because I haven't played too much with it recently. But I know when I was doing the sparks for my robot fight, the when I was going through the tutorial, the biggest thing was adjusting the size and making the colors different. So like the spark on the bottom closest to the fire would be a different color than the spark at the end. So maybe if there's some more variation, like the sparks that are coming up from the fire, I don't think would be that big, that high, you know? Um, and the sparks coming down from the electricity may need to have a bit of a different shape. But yeah, it just kind of looks like there's, they're all the same. So if she can figure out how to vary the size and the color, that'll probably help. I was just looking at, um, so like some of the cool values on like through here and then through here. I'm sorry, I was kind of over there. Um, I don't just feels like there's enough flame in there that it would kind of I would I would pull back some of that cooler color. While I like it on her in general, I think in this lighting scenario, it 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 could feel because I'm not seeing cool light on, on really as much of anything else. I think I it, it's not a matter of making it all warm. I think it's just a matter of just desaturating that and neutralizing it a little bit more. And um, got, so and it looks like because Andre, I think you mentioned these. These components, I think they are. Oh, oh, I think they are glowing. Okay. Um, it looks like. I don't know if her thumb, her left thumb, is actually touching the the machine gun or the gun, whatever that is. But maybe some shadow there, or or. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it feels like. I mean, it feels like it's it supposed would, to be on the gun. It, 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 it would have the shadow, and it will also wouldn't have the reflection on uh on the gun. So yeah. also like there's something weird just check just check her nostril. Like it's kind of like a weird reflective ring in there. 
but this is looking really good. Sorry, yeah. we're, we're being really nitpicky, but this is, uh, I think overall, this is a very, very cool, a good bit of character lighting. And I, I also, uh, I'm looking now, the, the her right thumb that, that is like going through the trigger, maybe, what that's what that is? I think... Maybe uh, a little more shadow there, too. Yeah, I don't know what kind of parts. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. Let's hop over into uh, so Kel, you, there were two submissions. The the this is the more recent one. Is this uh it's this, it, they're just updated a little bit? The animation is more just to see how the light uh, how he moves through the light rather than the, the colors and the values. Yeah, but yeah, the still is, is more for the final look. I I love. I love the way that you have this light positioned. Apologies for the crying in the background. My parents are in town. They've got my daughter. It's all cool, um, yeah. but I'm sure I'm sure things are going really well in there. Um, so, uh, so I love that the character is kind of standing back. It's like in in just kind of like simple, you know, whatever lighting. Just like oh, nice and easy, no problem. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he's like stepping into the light, and it's like all of a sudden much more dramatic. I think that's really, really, really smart. Awesome. Um, I like that. Let's see. Yeah, if, if it, you wanted to look into detail, then you could pull up the, the, the still if you have that. If that's easy to swap back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. I got that in the. I think I have this over here. Yeah. Because the one thing I was thinking about um, is I'm wondering if we could emphasize more of the light being kind of an upward trajectory, like underneath him at this point. Because mm -hmm. it's really, because the lamp, the lamp is really pointing down here, right? And yeah. all the light that's on him would be coming up like that. So I would play that up a little bit more. I, I thought the same thing. And I added a bounce light right on the folder. Um, just just affecting him and i found that it sort of lightened the shadows on the right side of the, on the screen right side of his face a little bit too much and lowered the sort of how dramatic it looked but gotcha gotcha yeah further to the left the other thing too is i i would i would tone down these lights a little bit on him especially okay. as he i mean i think it's fine in the beginning but like as he steps forward as he makes that quick movement as i get much darker i just saw myself on the screen there um uh, you can you can you can subtly have those kind of pull back a little bit on him. I think they're fine back over here. It's just a matter of like really emphasizing the the strength of that light versus what we're seeing coming in from outside the window. Hmm. So would you would you animate that value just for that single light and specifically on him, not on the like if you if you if they're all one light right now, I would do them as two different ones and just have it on him. Or you yeah. could do it in the comp too. You could just pull it back a little bit there. Um, this is and then. Like the same that's my film noir one. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's similar. Yeah, uh, large men love to come very close to desk lines. Um, and then I, I would soften this shadow a little bit too. I think it's. A, I, I like because because this, like the 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 sh like the softness of the shadow from the blinds looks good, and mm -hmm. I know that it would be a little bit tighter in here. I just think that's a little bit too tight. Okay. Just because, because again, window light it passes through the panes of glass, which diffuses it more than we yeah. think. Uh, maybe, yeah. maybe if he, maybe, maybe if you get the lamp a little higher, so that it does look like he's being lit from the lamp, and then you just can take have, this geo and just just scale it. Yeah, yeah. You could try it because then you you. Keep the uh, the the dramatis dramat dramaticity uh, uh, of, of you mean like, you mean the elasticness of it the elasticity of this no yeah um <laughs> yeah no I I I actually kind of I kind of think it should stay where it is because that's the way desk lamps look right like and then it just kind of feel like you don't normally have like a big tall lamp on your desk it's usually like facing down so you can focus on your task true. And then so maybe 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 just like the 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 top part like tilt a little a little bit more towards him. I don't know. The thing about that is that it's it, it is animated. So um, later on, 
Oh, okay. Yeah, Never mind the desk and the things move around. <laughs> This is, this is a real silly one, but can we nudge the cigarette in more so it's like, because cigarettes usually come out of the ashtray that way? Not that I've seen an ashtray in 20 years, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, and yeah. how, just, just to, how, how much would you bring down that, that light on his face? Like 25%, 10%, or 50%? I think like 25%. Uh, that's not gonna work if I do that. But uh yeah, I think I think the idea is because right now there's a little bit of a question of which one is more dominant in its value. And mm -hmm. I think that um we definitely, definitely, definitely want it to be um the desk lamp. Oh, and I'm and I'm just thinking now, he he does like he slides the folder in, he he's standing around in the background and then he goes and slides the folder in, and then he sort of goes back a bit um out of the light um for a little bit, and then he goes in and slams the desk again. So when he pulls back away from the warm light, would I increase it again? Yeah. All yeah, right. and then, probably. And then when he, when he goes in again, I'll decrease it again. Because basically you're going to have like two different, he's going to be in, in and out of two different lighting scenarios a little bit. Yeah. Uh, you can, you, like I said, you can either, if as long as, he, actually even if he moves slowly, it should be, because it's not, it's not like a drastic change. We're not like flipping a light on and off. We're just just animating yeah. it like twenty five percent. So I think it'll be I think it'll be okay. Okay. Maybe you can maybe you can try putting like a, a I don't know how you would call it, like a neutral density filter, like a dark glass, so that it like just blocks it a little bit when he leans in, but when he goes back, then it's fine. Also, uh. Yeah. One, and one other thing, I would desaturate the gold just because like the scene has this really nice kind of desaturated gray. Like like looking at the cork board, it's nice and desaturated. Mm -hmm. Um I just think I think that and even the desk is is warm and that's fine. It's just something about the gold feels like a little bit too rich for the gotcha. for the for the world. All right. Cool. Great stuff. You. All right. Let's hop into some others. So we have all right. Let's go through. Let's just go through these alphabetically. So clever. I think. I think structurally, this is working well. I think. I think you know, like I, I was kind of making this more postage stamp size to make sure that we're nice and bright in the center. The biggest thing with me is still. It's like looking at just like putting my hand over the character. Everything like I love the way that this is looking. Back in here. And and some of the details kind of around the sides. It's just when we get in the middle, the character. It's almost Sorry. like it looks too I... solid. Yeah. Because yeah, it's squishy. Yes, it feels like it's made of a hard material. And there's not enough. Try it might just be a matter of adding some more subsurfaceness to it and making it feel more because they don't have bones really; they're all squishy. Um, and I think I think that's part of it. I think the eyes are too bright because they're kind of blown out a little bit. Yeah, maybe but, even add some, like translucency or something. Yeah, I think I think because like the the ten, and you know, and a lot of it too is the color. It's that it's that reddish pinkish color that's coming through in his face um, because it doesn't really show up. It's it, it's not what I would expect it to look like. And even though it's probably totally right, what I would expect would be much more. But. Um, it's it's a little bit too saturated here, but it's basically. Let me try this instead. It's basically like I expect it to go more like this than that. I, I would expect it to go more in the purpley range than a true red.
That shadow on his face, where is it coming from? It looks like it's from one of the hands, one of the, the, the tentacles and hands. Yeah, so like, so getting rid of that will help. Oh. Yeah. It looks like it's coming from the lamp and there's a light that you don't see on the other side of the lamp. Well, you're that's right. What was, that's what I was trying to, to, to understand, but I think that it, it might be from the, the, the tentacle right on to the right of the light. There's, there's also this one here that's that, but you're totally right, uh, Keldon. This is from this is the this is a, this is the lantern because there's the top of it, and this is the glass right, component. Like, right up. Yeah, you know, and and the other thing too is I think that the darkness level on the face, like we get some we get, we get falling into some darks underneath the table. Like I'm really looking at this tentacle, and it looks really nice, right? Like we're getting into some darkness down there. And I know this is much more exposed. I just want to get a little closer to that dark. Like the way that this is kind of dark in this, like I kind of want that to be along the same level. It's just, it just feels a little bit overlit on the character's head. Additionally, I think that these fish can get a little bit of light on them. You know, they're, they're just as close to the lantern as he is. So I think they would, they would be a little bit inside of that as well. All right, cool. Okay, great. Thank you guys for being my eye, like for being a, a good set of eyes on this because there was just something about that that was that was it just wasn't looking right. That's why we get to pay the big bucks. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, this is really good. Clever. It's just it's just like you're, you're it's really really coming together. You've added the simplicity to the shot. I think we're at, we're at the right balance of simplicity versus complexity by by simplifying it a little bit. I think it's looking. I think it's coming together nicely. All right, Justin, how are you feeling about this? Are you here? Did we lose him? He's not here. I think it's the second time I've done that today. <laughs> All right, guys, how are we feeling about this? I will stay quiet for a minute or two, and if we don't, and we'll we'll see. Because if, if you guys want to clap, or if you got notes, I think it was great. I think he's done a really nice job balancing the values on the character and the silhouette the same way that Ruby did. Um, I think that you have Aaron really muted. Different. I'm muted. I think that you have Aaron muted. Oh, I've Aaron muted. Oh, Aaron, I'm sorry. I muted you like a this week is, ago. This is my punishment typing. from a week ago. Yeah. You <laughs> will not say anything until. No, that's fine. <laughs> um, the tree directly behind the house. Yes. I feel like because it's the same light levels, it just feels like it's growing out of the house. I feel like if we just could darken that tree, like it would give it more like Z kind of uh, depth. That's um, a really good point. Yeah, because that's cause I know I think that's I think that's a good one. Let's let's if you can crypto mat that and just knock it down. I will make sure I will mute Aaron again for tomorrow and we'll do a good bit of clapping. But that's no, that's actually a really good point, Aaron. I like that one. I'll mute myself now. I'll, I'll see myself out. Thank you guys. Have a great have a great week, everybody. Uh, yeah, I think that's I think that's really good. But we've got a couple extra days before the next critique, so just do that. Render it at a higher if you if you want to render it at a higher resolution, like make it four K, make it big and pretty. Um, then we can we can kick it off. That'd be great. All right, cool. All right, Keldon, we got. Hi, right, Mindy. Hello, if you are available. Hi. Hi. Oh, you are very, you got a very good microphone. You sound very nice. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. It sounds good. All right, cool. Um, all right. So we've got uh, the Luca reference. We've got some underwater reference. We've got axolotl reference. Um, it's just very, I think this might be the same axolotl reference that Forrest had, which makes it really good. So one of the things that we really discovered about this character is that um, uh, is, is just kind of the, let's see, where's that? Uh, and we, we were doing this with, with Forrest the last time. Let's see, we got that post. I'm not sure if we posted this yet. Mm -hmm. But it's basically, it'll be basically be something like this, where, where like this kind of rich pink color really does kind of pop out against a cooler environment. And so I'm wondering if we can't, for yours, if we can't push that a little bit further. So, okay. and that, that's kind of caused with, with two things. Number one is we have, a, we have, we're starting to get some smaller shapes in, in and around the character's face. I think I think we could like make it because they're so small 
that you want to do something like you want to make those smaller shapes if it's like a big elephant or like King Kong or something. But if it's a smaller shape, you a smaller creature, you want to create those kind of more uh, cohesive, uh, smaller, smoother shapes. So like this is kind of like smoother, bigger. This is kind of smoother, bigger coming across here. And same thing with um, with Luca there. Actually, is that Luca or his friend? I can't remember. I think it's Luca. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. So I think I think just creating some smaller shapes. I think there's a little bit too much orange in the character's skin, and I think we can we can pull that back into kind of the pinkish, and then and same thing with like the same thing with like this creature is with the octopus that there's going to not be a lot of bone, so we really want to see that kind of penetrating through. Looking at the the reference, look, it's kind of dark in there. I think I think we can get a little bit more light penetrating down, especially on the sides here. We can allow this to be a little bit a little bit darker, but even even when it gets dark, make sure it maintains some of that warmth, that that pinky cuteness. And then the other thing that we were seeing with with Forest too was, um, although you got some goodness here, uh, getting like allowing these to get a little more saturated and just like varying the saturation throughout was nice. Um, And then if you like, I like the watercolor here, um, actually in all of it, it's kind of a bluish greenish color. And then the, the sunlight that's coming down is, is much more neutralized. So I think that the, the sun color can, can get desaturated and then we can push kind of the blues in the background a little bit more. Okay. But not make it cooler, just. It's a little bit making it cooler. Yeah. So okay. it's like um it's, it's it's kind of by cooling it off overall. Um it it takes what was once what was once warmer and pushing it more in that cool range. Or it's it's taking something that's warmer and making it more like neutral as opposed to being on the warm side. Okay. That makes sense. So yeah, so so it's a it would be a combination of things. Mostly, it's it's taking the the light color of your key light, making and pushing it more towards just kind of a pure white. Taking your sky color and pushing that more in the blue green, probably more towards blue, and then mm -hmm. that'll really allow this character to kind of pop forward. Okay, should I also change? I guess the shader for it to be redder. I think it's about making it a little bit more translucent or tra uh, make more like subsurface penetrating further, like changing the scale on the subsurface. Okay. Um, but I don't, I, I think, I think, and, and truthfully, I think some of it too is pushing the character in the comp because um, it's just kind of the way that this, um, that this kind of like pinkish color kind of works is that like, Doing it in the lighting will still kind of create, unless the scale and everything is set up well, it, it it's like you you. It's hard to replicate that in three D because there's like so much happening under the surface. But in reality, it's just shifting it more towards the pink reds. Um, okay. So that's like, so again, like that. fix it in comp. You can fix yeah. I mean, push it a little okay. bit, but yeah, you can fix. You can you you're gonna want to do some tweaking in comp. Okay. Sorry, that's a. Terrible answer, but yes, yes. So push it a little bit, but 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 be prepared to make the final adjustments in the comp. Okay, gotcha. Cool. Thanks. But I think the like the depth of field looks really nice. I think the the splatter. I think the the light shape on the background looks really good. It's just just color stuff. But this is a tricky. This is a tricky one. So you're doing really well. All right, cool. Should I'm sorry, just really quick back on that one. Should there be some sort of shadow from the oxalotl on the rocks? Yeah, that'll that'll help tie it in a little bit. Because I think depending on the position, yeah, try yeah, it. Because it's off screen right now. Yeah. Because going yeah, but the like, other way. But like having having that kind of down here, I think would would be beneficial. That's a good point. Okay. Kind of tie it together. I was also just wondering um, why there's sort sort of this. Um, dark halo around the character. It's kind of hard to notice, but once you see it, it's like like a, a, around the the axolotl's face there. 
Oh, that might be from my comp. I was adding in all the volumetric, and then I uh, also had oh, fog yeah. in there too. Yeah. Some uh, matte edges. I should probably separate the layers, probably. All right, cool. All right, Miwa, let's hop in here. So we've got, is this Nightmare Before Christmas, I assume? I think. Yep. Yeah. One of my favorite movies. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I didn't know Danny Elfman wrote the soundtrack for Epic. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was on it. Yeah, we were pretty, that was a pretty big gift for us. We were excited about that one. All right. So the biggest thing, and I think I think I think this was mentioned in the channel, was just the softness of the shadows. I think it's just a matter of increasing the light radius and kind of because we're seeing, especially back here, um, we're we're not seeing that kind of like hard shadow feeling. Like you can see a shadow here; it's pretty soft. I think increasing that radius will 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 cause will um, allow that to kind of soften a little bit. We've got it kind of over here, but like on some of these as well. It it also helps when. You have uh, an interior scene like this with multiple lights coming in from multiple directions. Because what can happen is it kind of ends up looking like stage lighting or like theatrical lighting with just like really sharp um, or like, you know, like a, a sports, you know, a sport team or something. Um, just like a lot of sharp shadows going in multiple directions. So by, by increasing that radius, you can kind of soften that down. This is a very difficult thing to tackle in uh, with a perfect sphere like this. Um, because this kind of comes in with a spotlight or some light kind of coming in from one direction. And it always seems to hit on this edge. I think in, I think it's in the, it might be in the character lighting class. I forget where I specifically talk about the key wrap. So if it is in the character lighting, don't fret about it. Uh, but basically the idea is you'll have a spotlight here that creates the majority of this. And then what you want to do is you want to create a second spotlight. That's a little bit off to the side, uh, a little bit of a bigger radius much less intensity. And what that does is it helps ease that transition of that. Um, in terms of color, I think the colors are feeling pretty good. The red might be a little bit saturated, but I think I think you're I think you're in the right mind space with that with the color there. Can you hear me? I can hear you now, yeah. Okay, cool. cool. Um, yeah, I was struggling because after a while, like, I couldn't even tell, like, what, what am I looking at? What color <laughs> is this? Like, um, and... No, that's the... that's totally, totally, totally normal, by the way. Like, you do just stare at stuff for too long, and you really do. Like, that's where critiques really benefit you. Is it gives you an opportunity to step away, get some other eyes on it, and, and just take a look at it. Because, yeah, like, the light felt... They, I was sensing some kind of yellow somewhere, but then when I was kind of, like, color picking just to make sure, it was more like a peachy kind of orangey color um then i realized i looked back and looked at the actual scene to see what the, where the actually the lights were um and yeah like there was like a yellowish light radiating from the bottom so in the second in the like in the updated one uh, i used the, i switched from a spotlight to a point light oh, you got um, this other one yes sorry I forgot to grab it. oh yeah no and i added some panels just to kind of like get those other shadows in there um yeah that's and, okay cool yeah that does look a lot better and then I noticed that 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 light, that yellowish light in the background is like sort of like one of the little thingies that are oh, yeah. there. Um, so I tried to, I thought, I don't know why, I thought like the inner, an area light would be like an actual box of light. <laughs> and I was like, oh wait, no, it's not how it's working. So I just kind of put it there to maybe kind of simulate what's going on there. But um, yeah, that's what that's what that is. No, I think I like. I mean, this is such a big. This is such a nice jump from this to this. Like, this is this is a really nice adjustment from the, from the first iteration. Um, and yeah, totally what you're talking about with that, that kind of peach colored light comes from the combination of the red and the yellow, right? Like the one it's in the areas that they are combining that we're starting to get that peach color a little bit. Um, but that's a really, really good observation. One thing that I would say about this, um, and this 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 might just become like multiple lights from multiple sources, but I would expect there to be a little bit more darkness underneath him here, especially from where the feet touch the ground, like a little more contact shadow. So just just a make sure that the that the object is actually on the ground, like they're actually uh, against it, 
And then, I, I mean, don't don't worry too much about it on this one, but in the future, like that would be something where we'd want to add a little bit of ambient occlusion down there or something to kind of make sure, like to, to make sure, because like, I feel like there would be more light being blocked in there because of the, the shape of the character than would be like back here, you know what I mean? So, but I think this is really good uh, observing that that is, because that, that's more of like, I think in the reference, I think it's just like a, I think it's metal along this edge or something. And that's more of like a specular highlight. But since you can't change the uh, the shader values, I think that was a really smart way of, of handling that. All right, any other thoughts on this one before we hop into to, to the other submission? All right, so this is a reference. Again, such a colorful, beautiful, uh, beautiful piece here. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Some corpse ride. Oh, it's Corpse Ride. It's a similar similar thing. Different movie. Yeah. Man, look at Cat nodding all disappointed at me. I'm sorry. I missed it. Damn it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Shame on you, Mike. I, I will mute myself for a week. Aaron, <laughs> feel free to mute me and I will be quiet now. Uh, yeah. So I think, I think, I think you're, I think the colors are on point. They might be a little bit too saturated and a little bit too pure, right? I think I think that in in this they feel a little bit a little bit like pulled off of that like perfect lime green and perfect purple magenta color, and then the other big one is that some of the values like I'm seeing this bright like it feels like in right here too, the reference doesn't quite get that bright in those larger areas. I see a little bit here and a little bit there, but um, that's really happening where kind of the magenta and green overlap where in here it's kind of happening just like where the green is so um so i, th I think i think that green light can tone down a little bit and we're seeing um I, we're definitely seeing these sharp shadows on this wall but it's really only coming from like one specific light where it feels like here it's coming from two different directions because i can see this being projected back there and that coming there that all feels like one light but then i've got this coming this way and this coming this way, which feels like a different one. So I would just limit the sharp, sharper shadows to just one of them. When I was like kind of messing around with this, one thing that I was struggling with was um, getting those, like the shadows started to become more purple. Um, instead of like in the middle, there's like, they're, I guess they look darker, but they were turning into a light purple no matter where I was moving the purple light. Um, and I was struggling how to get that. And also, like, yeah, when I'm assuming maybe it's because there are maybe like more than one purple, like there's probably multiple purple lights going on and they're yeah. coming from different directions. Yeah. Um, because like when I was like using spotlight, they were overlapping and creating a white light. Mm -hmm. Um, and in like, yeah, in the reference, they look, I don't, yeah, I don't see much of that. White. So, there's so, bit, but there's like a lot of. Yeah, what's going on here in the reference is that the lights are really isolated to their areas. There's not there's not actually a lot of overlap because that's what happens when when purple and green combine uh, in in additive light space in in in, in light they are complements right. They're kind of complementary, so they actually build towards white. Um, okay. So because they they like take over different wavelengths and then they come together. I'm, I don't I don't know how it works, but basically, yeah, if you bring all the colors of light together, it, it turns into white light. Like that's what white light is, it's all the colors. But here, yeah, we've got a, a light here and we've got a light over here. And then what we're seeing here in the middle is just green light. And you can tell that by looking at the difference between these two shadows, right? So this is the green light. That's, this is the shadow from that green light, right? But it's still inside the purple light, which is why we're seeing the purple shadow. This is the shadow from the green light, but there is no purple light, so it looks black or it looks dark. So I think I think it's a, I think it's a I think for you it's a matter of isolating the colored lights into their um, into their sections, so they don't they don't overlap as much. Well, anyway, yeah. Like on the the reference, you can see where the lights are kind of crossing over because on some of the skulls where both lights are kind of hitting, the they look whiter. <laughs> so like you see it on the skull the skulls and the, the feet. So you have a little bit of that in there as well. Yeah. Would that be like a third light source coming from, like maybe there's like one on the left and one on the right and then one coming in like more 
the other direction. Yeah, they prob they probably had like I don't know seven or eight lights in the scene there, one on each of the of the skeletons and one on you know because they they want to have control over over each little pocket of light that they create. Because you can see some purple light hitting like their knees and stuff. That's cool. That's a, this is this is more complex than I gave it credit for when I first looked at it. <laughs> they probably have they probably have uh uh like one purple light on each uh, uh at least that's what I would do if I was shooting that uh in real life you know uh one purple light on each of the um of the skeletons and then one big green light coming from the right of the screen which makes all the shadows and then two purple lights on each side basically just on the background so you're saying like okay so one one light here two yep. is the big green light three is over here and then it's like four five six seven are all the rim lights from the um, that's probably it that Big makes sense to me yeah. that makes sense cool great submissions man that was that, that got us got me that got me thinking a heck of a lot more than i was anticipating green was not ready for that all right ruby how you doing oh my gosh i i think yeah okay I did the thing where I always like wait to the end for people who I don't really have that many <laughs> notes for. And I'm so sorry to both you and Theo. Uh, I should have planned that better. Um, I think it looks great. I will stay quiet. For uh, I'll let Aaron mute me for a few seconds here. I like that you got rid of those little light bulbs. I think it looks better without them. That was really smart. I agree. Good job. I like it. It looks good. Yeah, you got me thinking about those those light bulbs. The um, one of those uh, past critiques, where you say like they're not like a lot of reference on the other side of the house. I'm like, hmm, that's true. Maybe I should just <laughs> remove them. It's, it's one of the things that happens with with the background plates is that we assume that they just are what they are, but we're still the mm -hmm. are they're still part of our creation. So we can do whatever we we need we need to make sure that we're staying open minded to adjusting those. And I thought I thought that was. Because my my thought was like, should we make them darker? Should we make them brighter? Should we do this? Should we do that? And you're and you just were like, no, nope, just gonna get rid of them. I'm like, better. Very good. Yeah. All right. And does anyone have any notes on this? Would, would we I like wonder, to? Oh. I wonder if the um, I'm, I imagine it's a, a tree on the on the left side. Uh, if maybe you could get a little bit of, I don't know if maybe it's my screen, but I can't see like any detail on the dark side of it. It's Maybe add a little bit. Thing. I really like that that um, that purple glow on that on that tree, and yeah. maybe a little bit more detail or, or pushing it a little bit more would be really nice. But I noticed that too. I I I like it. Yeah. All right. All right, Ruby. <laughs> like, so the gentleman make a good point because I do. I because I've 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 really wanted to keep it darker as a framing element, which I think you've nailed. But oh, yeah. yeah, perhaps pushing it just looks really good. It just looks good to, to and it, like to increase a little bit more. Like in, you could keep there. the value, just like have, have it more, yeah, brown a little bit more, or just a little bit more detail. Yeah, yeah, I think that's smart. Ruby, I'm how do you feel about that? <laughs> uh, so it will be like brighter, or just like more light around the whole tree. Yeah, m m more light around it. I, I would say. I don't think, yeah, I don't think it necessarily needs to be brighter. I just think the position needs to be kicked around a little bit so that it hits a little bit more into here. Maybe I, not that far, I see. But, okay. Yeah. But I, th I think the value is perfect. Okay. Right. Okay. I'll, cool, I'll cool. work on that. Last note, Thanks. and then we'll see it, see it again on Thursday, and then, yeah. Get the way it was. Yes. <laughs> All right, and then same thing here with, with Theo. I think we were just hitting some final notes. I think that you've come a really long way in building the value of the snow in this, and I think it looks really good. I, w I will actually give it one little note, because I just saw this. I think right here, there's a little bit, a little bit too much yellow in the snow, just like a touch, just like that. 
and it might actually extend down in here now that I, I made that adjustment. Um, but I will see if anybody, and actually this will allow us to kind of compare it. So I think just a little bit less yellow. And I think we'll be on our way. Does anybody else have any thoughts on this? I will stay quiet now. Man, just like a couple. Ah, I'm sorry. I wanted to clap for these. And now I'm seeing things. And now we saw. But we're so close. It's so close. Hopefully it's not too much trouble. You guys are amazing. All right. It is. Yeah. All right. This is a great critique today, guys. Thank you so much for, for those of you that, that shared your camera. I'm sorry that my camera went very dark there for a minute. Um, thank you guys for your patience. I know this was a long one. And, uh, but I think it's great. I love, I love, love, love seeing all 10 of us here. I think there's 10. Yeah, there's like 10 people here seeing some beautiful images. This is like, this is me in my happy place. I'm so happy right now. So thank you guys so much. Um, we'll have this uploaded soon and I will see you all back here on Thursday. Sound good? Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right. Thank you all, everybody. Take care. Have a great day.